Whew. Man, it's like Danny Glover said in that movie, man. I'm really, I really am getting too old for this. Okay, hey guys, welcome to the Dreaded Bane. My name is Lou, and today's video is, it's not complicated. I wouldn't say it's complicated. It's more or less like just something that's been bugging me for the last like three weeks. And it's, it's kind of, kind of, it's kind of complicated, whatever. So I want to talk about women. I know, no, 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 not like, you know, in a sexual way, nothing like that. I mean, if you're down for it, let me know down below. But um, I want to talk about women in, in sports or disciplines, like combat sports or, you know, combat disciplines. And I want to talk about it for the reason I feel like they are always so much more aggressive and so much ready to, uh, so ready to hurt you as opposed to like most dudes. <laughs> and and well, let me explain. Okay, so I've been taking uh, Krav and Jiu Jitsu for the last maybe three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. I've been taking it for the last couple weeks. I love it. It's great. If you ever get a chance, go into it. Jiu Jitsu is super fun. It, it's a great workout. It's great cardio. Um, Krav is a lot of fun, it's especially if you've got a good teacher. Mine is my, my teacher. He's, his name's Larry. He's really excited and like, he'll really get you into it. But anyway, enough about that. Um, what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about. The, the women in, in both classes that I've, I've gone up, I say, I can't say gone up against. I want to say more or less that I have faced in, you know, a combative way. And how every time I face them, I end up getting kneed in the nose, punched in the mouth, uh, kicked in the groin, uh, slapped, choked, which is oddly sexual. I mean, maybe it would make, okay, well, anyway. So I, I want to, you know, set up the scene for you. Okay, so I was in class today, and it was the first time I've ever been to a Tuesday session or anything like that. So it was pretty. It was pretty good class. So my partner was this girl. Like I don't know her name. I, it starts with the L. It, it's similar to what mine is. My my name is, but it, it's a little. I think she said it was it was a some Eastern European like dialect, or whatever. But anyway, she's like, "So do you want to partner up?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll partner up." Now, mind you, this is three weeks, and this is my third week into it, and. I should have known that, and this isn't, you know, targeted towards women. I should have known that she was going to be really tough on me. Like, she was going to beat me up. Now, I know I may look like I'm, I'm I'm a pretty decently sized guy. I got, you know, a nice sized chest and arms and whatnot. I'll just call it like it is. But I'm not, like, an aggressive guy. I'm not just out there to beat anybody up. I don't like to, I really don't like to just hit somebody for no reason. I like to just shadow box or whatever and do stuff like that. But anyway... We get into it. What are doing? We know just practicing the motions. We're doing like basically, I call it I call it water bending because we're we're basically locked up like this. And, you know, we have to like cycle through. It was really cool. Like especially go fast. It's like it's, it's way cooler than I'm making it look. But um, so we're doing that, and then our coach goes, uh, Coach Sterling. He goes, it's like, okay. So on the next part, you're gonna do you're gonna do shoot. So if somebody's gonna attack. They're gonna shoot on another person, and then that person is gonna just sprawl out. That's it. Sprawling out. I'll, I'll explain it to you. Shooting is basically where you practice takedowns. If you don't know anything about wrestling, it's, it's a takedown is, you know, it, it, it obviously know what a takedown is. But um, it's, it's uh, you know, you got your, your, your single leg, you got your double leg takedown, you got your knee pick, you got your ankle pick, you got all kind of picks like that. Well, basically, it's where you, you're locked up with somebody and then you just drop down, grab a leg, grab an ankle, grab a knee, and you pick them up and then take them to the mat. That's all you're going to do. You want to you take them to the mat. You can trip them, you can grab one leg and then trip them or whatever. So anyway... We're supposed to be practicing this. So I go, okay, I guess I'll start. I'll get, I'll be the attacker. You just, you know, sprawl out. He's like, she's, she said to like, something in a sense, like, so what am I doing? Like, all you're going to do is just jump back. Like, you're, like your leg's right here. You're going to keep one arm on me, one hand. Just, you know, control the motion of it. I'm just, like, right here. You're going to keep it on my forehead, on my shoulder, whatever you have to do just to keep me at bay. And then as soon as you, as soon as you see me shoot down, you're going you're gonna to keep that arm extended. You're going to keep one hand of contact each time, and then you're going to sprawl out. And then you're going to stand back up. The whole point of it is you don't want me to tap the knee twice. So I told her that. It was a pretty good. And I'm like, okay, no big deal. So we start. I, I wake up. You know, I'm starting slow. I'm like, okay, I'm going I'm to go. Uh, I even told him, like, I'm going to go in pretty soon. You'll know because I'll drop. I have a lot of hair. You can't really miss it. So I drop down. And immediately, what is the first thing she does? Take a wild guess. She doesn't sprawl out this way. She sprawls out. She sprawls up, I guess you could say. She goes... Boom, and she gets a solid knee into my nose, like right there. It was enough to drop, like drop my head back. Not enough to like make me tear up yet, yet, not mind you. She hits me in the nose, and it's, bam. I'm like, ooh, uh, and then like she's like, oh, sorry, sorry. And I'm like, okay, no, no big deal. Let's keep going. So we're going again. We're going up. She's keeping, you know, 
like patting the forehead, keeping me at bay, head control, you know, stuff like that, getting the shoulders, keeping me at bay. I go in for another shot, and she does the same exact thing. This time, she drove it in deep. Like, she hit me right here. I'm surprised my nose isn't broken or, like, bleeding or anything. Maybe it's because, like, maybe because I dodged enough of it at the right time, but whatever. She hit me flush, and that hurt so bad. I, and I, I was starting to tear up. I was like, Ugh. like I was, I was like, Ugh, man, I'm so bitch made. And then I, I was like, okay, so maybe two times is not that bad. That's really not that bad, whatever. And then like the timer was going like we had like one minute left. It's like four minute rounds. Like one minute left, and like she's like speeding up. So she's like she's, she's trying to like you know get in there, like trying to like, trying to make sure she doesn't get tagged. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna tag you now. And I, I tag her twice. But as soon as I tag her twice, she goes and drops an elbow in the back of my head. And I'm just like. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's funny because it's not an isolated incident. I, ever since I started, every female I've been up against, like I said, uh, one girl, the first day I was actually rolling, she she hit me with a left hook, like a solid left hook. It's, it's jujitsu. It's not boxing. So she she's like, we're, we're squared up. And like, I get inside her guard and she just, just you know, full on. I'm like, I, I'm like man, I'm, I'm probably going to be spitting teeth pretty soon. Uh, and then another girl yesterday, she got me. Man, she was so strong. Like she was super, like super humanly strong. And like this is what I call my eight, my Android 18 Vegeta moment. And what I mean is, okay, so everybody knows that famous scene where like Vegeta, Android 18 and Vegeta fight, and it's like you know she breaks his arm, right? Um, so basically this girl, she's really strong, remember? And she gets me an arm lock, all right? So she gets like, like basically she she's a white belt, but I'm I'm less than that, so I don't know much. She gets it on me because, you know, I extend my arm too long, like too far out. But then I'm getting up and I'm trying to pull back. But she's got my wrist and she's got both of them. And she flips that leg around. I'm like, okay, well, you know, it, it's, you know, if, if, even if a guy did to me, you know, you're, you're going to eat it because, you know, you, you make a mistake, you, you're going to learn from it. So I made a mistake, but I was pulling out and I had my arm like this, like it was extended. So I flexed and I had her, like her, 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 her chest was close right here and her leg was around my, my um, bicep like wrapping around and she had like a cross underneath my armpit so i'm right here and i'm just like flexing so as i'm flexing she's pulling she's pulling but i'm i'm getting off on the ground and i'm i post up i'm getting off the ground while she's on it like i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty strong i'm not the strongest but I'm, i can i'm i have a pretty good strength base so like the whole time she's like this i'm lifting her up just go, keep going lifting her up lifting her up and like eventually i get to like you know a good position where i'm like in a tripod and like she's she's coming off the ground and then she just throws herself back, like full her full body weight, and she just goes and hyper extends my arm, like like it was like I was like, oh Lord no! I was like, wow Lord, oh God! And then I I fall like immediately, my face just plants on the the mat, and I'm like, oh like I didn't tap because the the bell saved me because I was gonna tap. I, I I'm not even gonna front. That hurt, and she was and she kept cranking it, and then the bell rang, and then she was like, yeah, I did it, I won. She's like, I finally did it. She goes to the coach there, Coach Larry, who I told you is a really excitable guy, but he's known her a long time. He's like, she's like, he's like, that's how you do it. That's how you get in there. You want to rip him apart. And I'm like, <laughs> and like, I'm holding my arm. I like, I just, I'm, I'm going through a stroke or something. I'm like, in serious pain. But he's like, yeah, rip him apart. I'm like, but I just want to know this. Like, if you're, if you're one of my uh, female subscribers, could you explain to me what it is? It is it like, you know, you, you got something to prove or you just, I'm not. I'm not saying you don't know how to gauge your strength. Obviously, you know how to gauge your strength. Everybody can kind of gauge their strength, but like, what is it? It's 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 baffling to me. I don't know what it is, but I feel like each time I get to roll with a girl or like one on one like sparring with them, they want to beat me senseless. They want to beat the shit out of me. I'm like, dang man, like, can we just like be friends? I don't. I don't want to do it like this. But if you can, let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will. I promise. I will be back tomorrow. I'm, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of, a lot of thinking. But I'm gonna be back tomorrow. I'll make another video. Hopefully, you tune in for that one. Until next time, peace.